day 12 here from Austria and I think I found a grocery store by accident it's actually kind of what I was looking for so uh, yeah well we're in Austria we just crossed the border of Czechia yesterday and we're going to Salzburg uh, I think we're gonna get only halfway there today Guys, what I'm riding through is incredible. It's absolutely stunning. That's Linza. And uh, let me show you the electronica center that we were just at. So, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's, uh, uh, I can't see the camera myself, but anyway, it's uh, there, up there, <laughs> right behind the, uh, uh, the bridge, anyway, uh, Linza. Beautiful city, uh, quite empty. I didn't expect it to be so empty, honestly. Um, I missed my turn, no! Oh God, <laughs> doesn't matter. Anyway, take a look, I really wanted to see this. So I was just naturally going forward. All right, so we are in Linz, in Austria right now. Uh, I'd like to have lunch here, if possible, maybe. And then go uh, to the Ars Electronica Museum, which is a museum of futuristic technology. So they should have some interesting stuff for us. And after that, that I will continue uh, my trip west. So that was a game shop absolutely dedicated to Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic cards. And they actually had a tournament going on right now. Uh, I really wish I could uh, I could join. I, I really played Yu-Gi-Oh and I loved uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, cards back in the day. Uh, I mean, uh, years ago, you know. All right, guys. You probably didn't know, but there's a robot popping bubbles on a bubble wrap, which is the most useful task for a robot. So it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, so uh, the idea here is that people are given stickers and they can put the stickers here uh, depending on what kind of job they want. So as you can see, two people prefer what they love, uh, what earns, uh, some people prefer what earns uh, money, what they're good at, some people want the center of everything. No one wants uh, to do what the world needs. <laughs> You're calling over there. Of course, people want to be in the center. Syrian refugees live there, um, but it's it's um, from 2016, so it's not actual. It's not actual, but 
you can see until this year. So we can scroll through years. It's pretty cool. Yeah. What is interesting in this museum is that there's uh, tons of uh, uh, pretty cool and awesome user experience things. Such as, uh, for example, this one. Standing too close for you to see. Uh, so uh, there's the screen, the TV in the center. But there's also other stuff coming uh, from the uh, presentation machine over there. And you can swipe here, you can interact here. And the outer presentation changes as well, which is pretty nice. Alright, so we can test the uh, visual stuff here. Alright, so this works like this. I can put something over here, shows up over there, and uh, we can test image recognition. Alright, let's try a fox and a lemon. Setting it here, setting the scene here. Let's let's make it easy first. So a fox and a lemon. Let's go over there. All right. Machine learning is working. Image recognition is working. I can see a lemon showing up. It's still saying it's tennis ball, but lemon is getting higher and higher. Mexican hairless, perhaps this is the fox over there. See, lemon is uh, getting higher. Let's make it more difficult. Let's put uh, a goat and a turtle behind the goat. Let's see what it thinks that is. Alright, so Siamese cat. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. Okay, West Highland White Terrier. Alright, let's go make it easier. I think it doesn't even see the... Okay, let's make it extremely easy. Cucumber only. Let's do it like this. Okay, so it's saying it's hammer. Nail. I saw zucchini there. Actually a pretty cool thing, uh, a prototype of replaceable plastic material. Uh, this one is made from eggshells, sorry. This one is made from eggshells. Let me see if it can focus. Can it focus on the thing? So it's made from eggshells. Let me do this instead. So eggshells. And this one is made from hazelnut. Shells. Of course, shells. <laughs> uh, can it focus? And it's actually, uh, it's nice to touch. You know, you, you'd think it's uh, fragile, but it's not. What about the last one? Is this one an uh, egg as well? What is it? I don't know uh, which material, but also a dyeing material. I yeah. don't know, I don't know. Anyway, this Maybe is a company in Switzerland. Uh, well, mm -hmm. So it can focus. Uh -huh. Style. And here's a textile made from pineapple. It's called piña tex. Mm -hmm. Just like piña colada. <laughs> <laughs>
It's actually pretty good. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a nice touch. Also the raw material. And it's interesting to, to touch all of these uh, fruits. <laughs> there was a uh, textile from apples, which was uh, kind of like uh, leather, kind of something that you would be using for wallets. It was actually nice. And this is made from uh, animal blood. So for farms that use animals for meat, they can also use the blood. But this is a prototype, of course. Uh, they can also use animal blood to make this uh, hard material. Can I touch it? Yes, sure, you can touch it. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. No, it's not from blood. Is it? Yes, 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 yes. So, I'm going to go to the internet and get the internet connection. Yeah, because it's a data set. That was the Ars Electronica Center, the Technology of Future Museum. Now I'm gonna go back to my parking, pick up my motorcycle and ride west to a hotel. And uh, that's it for today. Yo! Yo!